Ironing has been around now for about 2,000 years and in all that time it's just been used to flatten fabrics and drive all those little creases away. Okay, really advanced ironing has led to pleats or straight lines, but that is about as far as evolution has got it. Although attempts have been made in recent years to widen the use of creases in garments, etc., we are still at a very early stage. So in this introduction, I'd like to take the use of the iron to another level, showing the communicative and artistic potential of ordered fabric creases. Overall, with an iron and some cotton fabric, we have a means of making lines, i.e. creases, and also we have a means of erasing these lines with a little moisture. Uh, my little book on ironing art gives more practical details on this. One small step forward from the triangle, and we have the letter A. And from there you can easily see how we can make the rest of the alphabet and therefore we can communicate in the written form. Unlike pencil lines, iron lines are costly in terms of time and effort, so it is good to make the most of them. For example, pocket pens, one of my favourites, just takes less than 10 lines. In fact, why not make a pocket? Or for that matter, add a tie. As with any medium, getting to know its own characteristics is essential. The big point about creases is that they are 3D. In this case, the 3D has two forms. One is what we refer to as bas relief, where it comes out of the fabric towards you. And secondly is intaglio, where the crease goes into the fabric. Okay, so moving on from straight lines, uh, the next thing is to make curves. And this is not easy with the iron. Uh, it has to be done, in fact, in increments small straight lines which combine to make a curve. Uh, again, more detail in the little book, but uh, here's an example. If an artistic medium can show facial expression even in the simplest form, then it's pretty powerful. This is a very basic example. Random placement of lines can also be very effective, as in this case, which I call crease cultivation. Finally, let's look at some high-level art. In this case I've chosen a Vetriano, very popular, very successful, and the essence of it can actually be reproduced in ironing art.